I have lost my drink. Make sure I don't have sweat stains. <laughs> Okay, you know who this video is for? This video is for all of you nosy girls out there who are like me. <laughs> so I love collection videos and a lot of you have said down in the comments when I've mentioned that in the past that you like them too. So that's what we're gonna do. And I thought a perfect way to start off something like this. Now obviously it's gonna be multiple videos because doing it all at one go would just be far too long. So. The first one that I wanted to start off with was a vanity tour to kind of give you like a behind the scenes look at how everything is set up and stored and then we will go into like the different categories and do like swatches and playing and you know make it more in depth but this is just kind of like an overview where I sit and do my makeup like how everything is stored and whatnot so let me know what category you want to see first. I personally would say eyeshadow but maybe you really like bronzer or blush or something like that so just let me know and then i do have one other quick question i um i've mentioned in the past that i have like a really hard time sorry my dog like shook the tripod i have a really hard time <clears throat> when i'm project panning like i get hyper focused on the items that are in my project pan and i kind of like neglect other stuff within my collection so I wanted to start doing like um, makeup baskets, but mine, like I've seen other people do them and I think they're a great idea. However, I have seen a lot of people, they include like within their makeup basket or drawer or whatever, they have all of their project pan items in the basket. I don't want to set mine up that way. Like I want to do mine um, strictly as like, uh, this is just the makeup that I get to play with when I'm like feeling in a rut or like when I want to pull something new in. And so I don't know, like it probably won't be something that I update monthly. Like once I feel like, okay, everything that I have put in the basket, got some use on it and I feel good about it, then we'll put those back and maybe like pick some new items. But do you like it better when people do those like makeup basket things? Do you like it when you like get taken with them and you kind of like pick it out together? Like I know this isn't live so there's not like you're picking it out together but you get to like see the process at the like drawer or do you just like it like if I came on with the basket and was like here you go like this is what's gonna be in it. Just let me know. I really don't think either way is like any harder than the other way to film it. I just don't know like what the preference is. I don't particularly have a preference like when I watch people do those videos. So just thought I would put it out there. But that's enough for like a rambly intro. So the last thing I will say is that I'm going to hold the camera. So if it's a little shaky, then that's why. Let's just go over to the vanity. All right, so here's like my little overview of my vanity. Um, yeah, I don't really know where to start. Let's just, okay, you know, chair with pillow and then it's like my little notebook where I keep notes. <laughs> and then underneath it is um, that cardboard box is like for if I have anything that's empty and needs to go into recycling. And then this bin here has like my extra sponges. It has like, for instance, this is an empty bottle of the Ofra um, setting spray, but I haven't, I put this into another sprayer. So I haven't finished this off, so I didn't want to put it in my empty, so it goes in here. Um, have like my little go-to travel bag. Hello kitty. And then all of my like loose um, eyeshadows that I haven't pressed are down in a box in there. So that's that. Um, so here's the actual table. So have all of my brushes like in the corner, my eco tools uh, sponge let's see all of like my lip products live up here most of my foundations live up here too and the two like tubes of open mascara that I have um, have quite a bit of lip balms up here and then these are the eyeshadow palettes that just kind of live on my vanity for right now the Lorac Mega Pro 3 is in my roulette uh, 50 pan project pan right now so once I meet all my goals on the shades in here this will actually go back in with like other eyeshadow palettes 
I just keep it there for ease. Um, this is my Tarte Clay Play palette. I use this in some way almost every day. Oh, hello, you can see my, let me move. <laughs> I use this some way like in every, so, yeah, I use this every day in some way. So um, that's why, and I love the mirror on this. There's our Pan That palette. And then my Tati Beauty palette gets to live here because I have fallen in love with this. I think this is my favorite eyeshadow palette ever. And I never, like, usually it was so hard for me to say, like, oh, this is my number one, like, top palette. This one, I, with, like, ease can say that it's this. I love the pressed glitters, the, you know, sequins. I just, it's such a good, like, just textured palette. I just love it. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. Um, and there's my little mirror. Again, you can see me. <laughs> this like little thing used to have like chocolates in it. And so I just saved it. So it has like my ColourPop Super Shock shadows that I'm currently like working on in different projects. Um, it has like some highlighters, um, stuff for like the partners and cream. It has like my one color corrector, my dip brow, and then some empty pans that I need to like sanitize and clean off. And then I found my drink. <laughs> um, this is actually something that is you put your hair through the hole and then fold your hair over it and it makes like a perfect bun but it also works as a color switch for your eyeshadow as you can see it's very dirty I need to clean it but I just thought that the actual like little color switches that you can buy in the pans like I just wasn't gonna pay the amount of money for that when this was all of like a dollar at Walmart so and then so there's no like actual like storage with this this desk um i put contact paper on top of it but it used to be it's like um it fold like this top piece um folds back out to make it wider and so it's supposed to be like um like a workstation type desk there's no like actual storage to it so i found this nightstand at like an upcycle store and that's where i bought it so most of my makeup lives in here and i think that that's great i don't want to outgrow this current setup so on top of it i have all of my like setting sprays or like more facial sprays that i use um compact some nail polish hand cream a pin for jotting stuff down and then here are my all of my eyeshadow palettes i'm not like in love with the way that i store them they're in these like acrylic kind of containers that i got on amazon but it's not like the most ideal setup but it does work because i can like you know flip through them and see and they're out and like i don't know it, it works better than them being in a drawer i think and then this is going to be my little makeup basket that i was talking about for when we do that so right now all that's in here even though i said like i don't want project pan items in there um i did separate out the eyeshadow palettes that are in my pan those eyeshadows just because that makes them more like in the front and so like i can see them a little bit better um so this might be a little messy but if we open up the first drawer i don't know i'm trying to like give you a good yeah, there you go. That's a good shot. So, um, <laughs> in this little kind of box, there's all of my ColourPop Super Shock shadows. Um, I have some smudge pots. Um, I do have like one loose pigment in here. Some single eyeshadows are back in here. The Stila glitters that I have. This is another single. Um, a shadow stick. And then my eye primers are back here in this corner. And then in front of this box down here is just like the highlighters that I have that are like in like a compact or um, like in a little palette together there or yeah so there's that and then back in here is powder bronzers these two big stacks right here is all powder bronzer and then in this little kind of like box back in here I have like my cream and liquid um, bronzers and highlighters and then this there's a blush there's my the balm palette and then underneath that this is like a little bit messy over here there's my Tarte Hamptons weekend contour this is a Z palette I have with um, five blushes and two highlighters within it and then this is my only other blush palette that I have that I got for Christmas and then underneath all that is my singles and my cream blushes. 
so let me quickly kind of put this back maybe in a little bit of a better order and I know like even though most of those blushes are like hidden it's not like I still like I know that they're down there and I need to use them so it's not like out of sight out of mind so I don't mind the way that this drawer is actually like set up for storage it might seem a little like messy and chaotic but it's what works for me so then the last thing to show you is down here now this one looks a lot worse I think um so I have back in this corner two foundations and two BB creams and this is like a little bag that is holding all of my lip products that I don't currently like have open these are concealers pressed powder foundations um, pressed powders loose powders are back here in this corner unopened mascaras um, it's like cat like a cat ear headband that I like never wear um, and then I have all of my primers just chilling out here so yeah that's uh it's not it's not as bad as it looks I guess upon initial inspection like everything stays pretty well organized and I like the two drawer system because I like I know exactly where I keep everything and what's in what drawer so nothing really gets overlooked I just have too much which I think that that's a common theme in the project pan community so we're just gonna keep actively working towards getting all this out right but that's it that's all i have for you i hope that you guys um enjoyed it and uh you know yeah let me know down below which collection video you want to see first and other than that i will catch you guys in the next one bye